Hey guys, it's Eddie the Magic Monk. Welcome to another phaser tutorial. In the previous lesson, we talked about states, uh, switching between states. So we have level, uh, we have the menu, which is the first state. And if you press enter on that, it goes to the next state, which is the first level. So you can see that we have some instructions in the first level that could be moved to my main menu. So that will be my first task. So if I go to state number two, which is the code for the first level, and if you find this line of text, I'm gonna cut that and save it. And then I'm gonna paste it in state one, um, just underneath the two lines of text that I already have. So this is the third line and I'm just going to move them to the left a little bit. So it says press the arrow keys. Now, if you save this and refresh, you can see that the text is not working. And that is because the game.debug.txt uh, must be updated per frame. So because this is... Uh, under the create function, we are only writing to it once. This line won't work. So you need to change this to game.add.txt. Oops, I'm using another language. Game.add.txt. And you need to put the coordinates at the front. So let's start with X is 80 just to be consistent. And Y is... Let's put that um, a bit lower. So let's put that um, at 240. And then I'm going to say instructions. Press arrow keys to move the spaceship. Press the space bar to fire. And then I'm also going to have the fill color is white. And you can also put in something like the font style. So just put in here, um, font is, um, let's say 16 pixels. So a bit smaller than the other ones and the font is, um, Arial. Okay. So you put that inside the object. Um, which is the last parameter of game.add.txt. So if I save that, refresh, um, you can see here it's got instructions, press arrow keys to move the spaceship, press the space bar to fire. So you should probably put the press enter to start the game last. So let's move that to the last line and then let's make that um, a lot bigger. So what's 80 times five, 400. Okay. So let's try that. So now it makes a bit of sense. Welcome to magic monk space shooter. Press arrow keys to move the spaceship, press space bar to fire, press enter to start the game. So we can improve on that later, but you can see here that we need a scoring system. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of game.debug.txt and sorry, I'm get, I'm going to get rid of um, the player.x and I'm going to have another variable, which is the score. So let's go back to index.html, which is our first page. And then I'm going to add another variable. So here underneath the phaser game variable, I'm going to add another variable called score. And I'm also going to add another variable called high score, which is very important. Two variables, one to keep the score of the current game and one to keep the high score. So in state one, um, once we start the game, here, I want to say something about what the high score currently is. So let's put that here, game.add.txt. 
Let's put the high score at X is equal to 80 pixels, Y is equal to 160 pixels, and I'll say high score is currently. And then I want to join that onto the current high score. So let's join that to um, join that to the variable high score. And what is the high score originally? Let's make them equal both equal to zero initially. Equal zero equal zero. Let's make that initial um, variable and let's put in here we want the color to be white as well. And let's just check that this is working. So if I refresh, you can see we got high score is zero. High score is zero. And so I press enter, I start the game. Now here, instead of displaying alien X and player X, which are two things that I no longer care about, I'm going to get rid of the two lines. So I'm just going to comment them out. Okay, and these are the things that we no longer need. What we do need is the, um, we do need the score. So let's go game.debug.text. We need say current score. And actually I'm just going to have score because score pretty much just means current score, doesn't it? Score just means score score plus the score and then a little bit lower than that so let's put here 50 50 and then a little bit lower than that i'm gonna put in high score is 50 um 100 Okay, so if I save that, refresh the game, you can see I have high score zero, press enter, and then I have score and high score. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some code. I'm going to say that whenever I shoot the enemy and it gets the enemy, so as soon as I hit the enemy, where is the code for that? Okay, so it's in the update function. When the player, when the bullets and the alien overlap, I run a function called bullet alien collision. So where is bullet alien collision? Bullet alien collision is down here. Okay, and here is where I say, okay, I'm going to delete both of the, but um, that is probably not the only thing I need to do because I need to increase the score. So let's put here score plus equal, um, let's say every time I um, shoot down an enemy, I want to add 10 to the score. So if I save that, refresh. Okay, every time I shoot an enemy, it adds 10 to the score. So why does high score update? Because there was an error, okay? Because it says high score is the score. Now, this should be high score, not score. Because in the first screen, we named a variable high score. So this should say high score. Let's refresh that. Okay, so... I kill an enemy, the score is increasing, the high score is not increasing. Now, how do we make the high score increase as well? Well, we need an if statement. Okay, we need an if statement. We need to say, if the high score is smaller than or is smaller than or equal to the is smaller than the score then high score equals score okay because 
we want the high score to be at least the same as the score. Okay, so let's refresh that. High score is zero. Shoot down some things and high score increases with the score. Okay, now what happens if I die? If I um, land on an enemy, oh, nothing happens. That's a bit of a mistake. If I land on the touchy enemy, nothing happens. So what's wrong? Well, let's look at the code here. It says that when I touch the enemy under the update function, when the player and the alien overlaps, well, it should be player and the aliens overlap. Okay, because there are multiple aliens. So let's save that, refresh the game. If the player and the aliens overlap, the player dies. Okay, if you look under the die function, player.kill. Okay, but rather than just player.kill, what we need it to do is really we need it to go back to the main menu, don't we? We need to go back to the main menu. So how do we do that? Well, if you guys remember, we switched between states before. We said game.state.start, state2. So here we can just copy that. And instead of killing the player, we can just say start at state1 again, which is the main menu. So if I save that, refresh the game, and um, I shoot a few things down, and I decide to suicide... I'm now back to the start with a high score of 20. Okay, but if I start the game, score is 20. So that doesn't make sense. So I want it so that as soon as I press the enter key to start the game, the score is back to zero. So let's refresh that. Let's refresh that. Score high score is currently zero. Press enter to start. I shoot a few things down. Score increases with high score. And I run into an enemy. So my high score is 50. Um, back to the start again. Press enter to start. My score is back to zero. Okay, so there is the high score system done for our game. All right, I hope this makes sense to you guys. Um, so I'll just make the score 60. So you can see 70 has um, become the high score. And if I touch the enemy and I go back to the beginning, high score is 70, start the game again, score is zero. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.